Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you some thrift rescues uh, from this month, the month of December 2019. These are items I've rescued from thrift stores, flea markets and the like uh, to either keep for myself, to collect them, to make sure they're safe from being destroyed in thrift stores, or to resell them as I sometimes do on eBay uh, to make extra cash. So all this stuff is music related and uh, let's get into it. So the first thing I'm going to start with is a big batch of records I found by the same person who I am an avid, avid collector of. And this is uh, Little Marcy. Let's start with this top one. Little Marcy. Now, as you can see, there's Little Marcy, the puppet. And Big Marcy is Marcy Tigner. And Marcy Tigner is the brains behind this operation. And there's another great picture there of Marcy and Marcy. Now, Marcy Tigner started out, I think her first album was her trombone music. I believe it was trombone gospel music, if I'm not mistaken. I don't have that one. I'm still looking for it. It's got a big picture of Marcy Tigner on the front holding a trombone. She looks very young. And I don't have it yet, but I have this one, Sing with Marcy. Now, let's keep going because it, it gets better. Marcy sings on this one. Marcy and Marcy. Uh, this one's got a really great song. I think this is the one. Uh, no, maybe not. There's a really funny title song on one of these. Is it Sing With Marcy? Uh, no, okay, so anyway, Little Marcy, two records. It keeps going. Look at this cover. Marcy sings Sunday school songs. Look at that. And it looks like Big Marcy has some gothy, dark uh, lipstick on. Some, like, brown or black lipstick. I don't know. Uh, but look at the back here. Just tells all about Little Marcy. Now, is this the one that has the great song on it? Oh, man. There's a really good <laughs> title on one of these. I'll have to find it. Moving right along, Little Marcy sings Sunday School songs with a different cover. Now, this is the illustrated cover of the puppet doll in the woods with what looks like Bambi there. Uh, the back has no images. Um, same songs as this one, just different covers. I prefer the photo cover, I think, if I was going to have my choice. Now, this is the best Marcy record I've found for this time. And probably, well, certain there are, She's got so many records and so many of the covers are great, but this is a pretty good cover. Marcy Sings Nursery Rhymes. Now look at all those stuffed animals. Look at that. Look at that. that dog doesn't know what to think of that little Marcy puppet. That big dog doesn't know what to think. But Mother Marcy looks very proud of her daughter. Right. Pretty good, huh? I mean, this stuff has to be rescued from thrift stores. And it has to come to me. Okay, so there's the Marcy records I found. Now, that was all in one day. And I believe that was in South Carolina or in, in Charlotte, North Carolina, near the border of South Carolina, which, you know, there's a lot of uh, gospel music out there. All right, so moving on to some CDs. This is, you know, none of these things are <laughs> that fantastic, but to me they are. Okay, so this Ozzy Osbourne record, No West for the Wicked. I have never, I, I don't remember ever hearing that album all the way through. So I finally found it for cheap. And uh, it's mine now, and I love it. It's a great record. I love most of Ozzy's stuff. You know, I grew up with Ozzy, and I saw him on tour, 1983, I believe it was, Speak of the Devil tour. Then I saw him with the Bark of the Moon tour. I think that was 85, no, 84. Great stuff, that Ozzy. Now, here's somebody that a friend of mine turned me on to, and I'd heard of this guy, and I'd heard of his big hit song, when it came out, I don't remember it making any impression on me or anything. But anyway, Andrew W.K., uh, this came out, I want to say, in 2002 or something like that. Um, early 2000s, for sure. He had that song, uh, Party Hard. Let's go to party, Saturday, let's go to party. Anyway, he had very simple, but really kind of powerful, great pop songs. And what's cool about this is that um, when I bought it, I found out that it had a ticket stub for one of his concerts inside. So that's pretty cool. And I already had this album because a friend of mine um, 
who is a, a Debo fan, Alex Brunel, turned me on to that and sent to me in the mail one of these, and uh, I love it. And now I just bought this one to resell because it's got the ticket stub in it, and I thought that was pretty cool. Now, speaking of rock music, here's... I love the band Rush, and not, not not everybody does, but I love the band Rush, and here are two albums that I found recently at a thrift store that I did not have yet. This one's called Grace Under Pressure, and uh, I like it. I, I forgot that I knew the song Distant Early Warning, the first track on here. I was familiar with it, but I'd never heard the whole album, and now I have it. That's cool. And then this album I'd never heard before. It's Rush Test for Echo. And I can't remember what year this is. This is a later one for sure. And, uh, but it's, it's uh, going to be played tomorrow. I haven't heard it yet. I will be playing that tomorrow. And this is a really weird CD. And it's, you know, it's not something I can resell because it's really not worth much. But I'm a big ABBA fan, uh, as I've talked about in other videos of mine. And this is a really interesting CD called ABBA Phonic. ABBA Phonic. And it's basically classical versions of uh, ABBA songs. You have Abature there, opening it up. Uh, it's really it's really good stuff. Conducted by Louis Clark. Louis Clark. Rock classique, abaphonic. Anyway, great CD. Love it, and it will stay in my collection. All right, now, so I only have a few more. <laughs> but these are really great. Okay, so first one I'm going to start with is this really weird record I found at a coffee shop thrift store in Charlotte, North Carolina, and it's by the Sullivan sisters, Kathy and Mary Jane, and it's called Golden Hits by Two Misses. Two Misses. Golden Hits by Two Misses. Yeah, so anyway, the deal is with this, is this is a lounge record. So these, these gals would perform in, uh, you know, kind of a lounge bar setting. They would probably sell these records at their shows. There they are again. And uh, now I think Kathy, Kathy, I think played drums and sang while Mary played uh, keyboards and sang. And they're a great, they're a great duo. Very entertaining record. It's live in concert. Uh, it's worth, I think, about 30, 40 bucks. So I'm going to sell it. But if it wasn't worth so much, I would keep it because it's just great. And their see-through dresses are uh, amazing, right? So that was cool. Found that one. That is currently on eBay right now. I can't remember if it's $30 or $40 record. Now here's some other stuff uh, that's on eBay as well. And I found all of this stuff. Let's see if all of them are from the same batch. Well, okay, most of these. These next three records I show you were all from the same uh, thrift store here in Raleigh. And they're all Bollywood uh Indian music, uh, most, of, most of the stuff here is from films. Um, but I found a ton of these. I found probably, oh, I don't know, I want to say 12 or 15 records like this. Seven inch records, albums, and the covers are often pretty cool. Now this one, um, I think is on eBay right now for 40 bucks, and it's great. I mean, the graphics and the fonts and, you know, the music is great, and they're in great shape. Now look at that guy. Great film hits, Manadi. So this one, cool Indian style. Now this one is currently on eBay. This is a $100 record. This is a $100 record. It's in beautiful shape. Background music from films by Nasad, Nashad, Nashad, yeah. And uh, this is great stuff. Really great recording and um, the quality of the vinyl is amazing. So hopefully I'll get a hundred bucks for this. We will see. Now here is another cool cover, Bollywood, Jewel Thief. Oh, hi, Meowser. Jewel Thief, isn't that cool? I love the, the lettering. Yep, Jewel Thief. Those guys are responsible for making this music, I assume. Cool Odeon sticker there from India. Yeah, so all these were pressed in India. This, I think, is a $70 record. I believe it's on eBay right now. Now, this was surprising that this record was worth anything to me. It's not Bollywood. It's not anything like that. It is, oddly enough, an Avon record, okay? Avon, you know, uh, when suburban women would, would, would sell perfumes and, and, and 
toiletries to their friends uh, for Avon. You know, I was like, what are you doing back there? Uh, but this record right here is actually Avon sales meeting music. That's what it's titled, Avon sales meeting music. And it's, it's, it's interesting. It's like, uh, it's music about Avon and about their customers and about, you know, what to sell a man, what to sell a woman. It's really cool. This is a 50 or $60 record on eBay right now. Beautiful shape, still in the shrink wrap. I was surprised it was worth anything. I was just picking it up because I thought it was funny that it was a, an Avon record, you know? Um, now these last two items are pretty cool. These were stuck in the sleeve of a Walt Disney um, Halloween record that I found. And the Halloween record itself is probably worth, you know, 10, 15 bucks maybe. Um, but these were inside it and these are worth more. This is a, a Count Morbida's, Count Morbida, Chamber of Horrors from 1970, I think that says 75, yeah, 1975 Flexi Disc. There's the description there. This is about a $20 record, I believe. It's on eBay right now, just for that Flexi. Plays great. Now this one was very surprising. This record was in the sleeve of that Disney record I, I, I mentioned, the Halloween record. In the sleeve, just like this, no cover. It's called Gale House. And this, according to uh, research I've done online, this was a record that you ordered from the back of uh, comic books. It was like a dollar ninety-eight or whatever it was for haunted house sounds and you know what does it say there, banshee screams and stuff. Anyway, it's just got that weird little guy as a graphic and the words Gale House, which I think is the name of the record label or the production company. And this little guy right here, if you can believe it or not, this just recently sold for a hundred bucks on eBay. So I've got mine up there for 90. Let's see what, let's see if it goes. You know, I'm trying to keep my uh, prices competitive. But you know, all this stuff that I've just showed you is is stuff that I, I feel like needs to be rescued because when you go in these thrift stores, you see uh, bins and bins of records and CDs and tapes or whatever, and they're you know typically they're in, in in disarray. They've been looked through many times. They're falling apart. They're not being protected. They've got other stuff stacked on them or whatever. They're just not being. They're not in the hands of people who want them or love them. So I feel it's like I feel this uh, this calling <laughs> to find this stuff and give it homes. You know, I can't leave a Marcy record behind. I just can't. I might have two or three of these, but if they're in, in good shape and they're cheap, I gotta, I gotta give them a home because look at those covers. Holy crap, look at those covers. I mean, that's just nightmare material for, for some people, but to me, it's beautiful. So this is what I do. Um, and next month, hopefully I'll have more stuff to show you. And uh, hopefully some of the stuff I've listed on eBay is going to be shipping out of here soon into the hands of people who love it. And Meowser, do you want to say hi? Hey, Meowsie. Want to say hi? Come here. Come on over. Come on. They want to see you. Come on. Come on. Come on, Meows. Wait, we'll see if we can get Meowser up here. There she is. Good girl, Meowser. Good girl. Now, Meowser, don't knock the camera over here. Look at this. Look at this, Meows. Look right there. Oh, goodness. Look at my kitty. So this is me and Meowser. See me and Meowser? Oh, yeah. Meowser, we gotta say bye to everybody, okay? You ready? <laughs> she's ready for lap time, you guys. Look at her. Oh, she's purring. My goodness, Meowser, you're ready to call it a night, aren't you? You're ready to go snuggle down. All right, people. That's all for this video. I'm going to have more uh, more videos and live streams coming up real soon in the next couple days. I appreciate you watching. Please subscribe. Please click the like thing or the thumbs up thing or whatever. That all helps me in my mission here to make uh, this YouTube thing uh, fun and um, possibly even make a, a few pennies off of it uh, from views and likes and, and so forth. So let's do it. Thank you for your help. Thank you for your watching. Talk to you later.